when I first decided to go into the military, in high school, grades weren't there. I wanted to go to college, play baseball. Uh, couldn't get in any good schools because of the grades. So it was kind of a last resort, I guess you could say. Had no idea what I wanted to do. Didn't want to stay where I was at. So decided to join the military, get out of the hometown, go see the world a little bit, and get out of my comfort zone. So I first decided to start training at Railroad because a lot of my buddies did it. And one day we did a workout in their, uh, my friend Alfred's backyard. Completely destroyed me. Thought I was in shape, wasn't. Uh, they were all coming to Railroad, so decided to come here, get my butt in shape. Mental strength was never something I really looked at until actually I got here. And uh, I remember one day I was going through a workout and it was like 50 burpee pull-ups at the end of the workout. And I'm just like, man, this sucks. Like, I was just like saying that out loud. And Coach Sean comes over, he's like, like don't think like that. Like, it's gonna end eventually. So he kind of, the rest of the workout just stood right there, helped me through it. And uh, I realized how like big your mental game can be throughout a workout, especially when you're getting to the end of the workout and it's really starting to get tough. And uh, keeping your head in the right space can really push you through it to get it done with. The coaches here really nail it in your head that the mental side is where it can make or break you during a workout. Because if you're hesitant in the game during the workout, then it could really tear you down. Physically, um, like cardio-wise, definitely went up. Uh, when you run on the treadmill for so long, it gets real boring, stop doing it. And uh, when you come to railroad, there's a lot of different things that can incorporate the cardio side, which keeps it fun every day. So it's not boring, you're not coming in here dreading it, you're coming in open mind, having a good time. When you first arrive at the basic, you can kind of tell who's been working out before, prior to arriving and who's been putting in the work. Um, coming to railroad for two years prior to boot camp, um, I was probably in the best shape that I've been in, in my life. So when I went in there and like during the PT test, I like uh, bust out like 18 pull-ups, and all these other guys are like, "What the heck? Like, how do you just do that?" Um, it always falls back to railroad because they really set me up before I went there. And I mean, not knocking any of the other guys. I mean, a lot of the guys are in shape. A lot of the guys were fitter than me, but definitely a good foundation that was set before I arrived there, so I could stand out amongst others and not be that weak link. Coach Sean played a huge role. Uh, prior Air Force, same exact job as I'm doing now. Uh, he had some of the best times of his life. He he would always tell me. So it was a great decision to get away from home and uh, have a good time. So he really pushed me to go to the Air Force, a better lifestyle, and pushed me to do the specific job that I'm doing too because uh, he had all the experience prior. So he wanted to, me to see that as well. Biggest advice go, before you go there is to join Railroad, obviously. I don't think on my own I could have been in the shape that I was in. The coaches here, the environment, the people, everybody. I mean, it just really prepares you physically and mentally, especially that mental side. When you go into the military, you're going to have a lot of long, mentally hard days where you're just going to want to go in bed and lay down, but it's not going to be the case. Uh, coming to Railroad prior, they'll really nail that mental side into you so you can tough out those long days.